Okay. So next up, um, you know, suppose getting the brains of our Instagram clone application employees, and we make money by having uh, sponsored content, by having advertisers post things on our app, and they want to know what hashtags they should use, which are most popular at any given point. So what we want to do is just find the five most commonly used hashtags so we can tell our advertisers, these are the hashtags you should use on your own stuff because they're trending right now. It's what people are looking for. So to do it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a single join. We're basically going to connect hashtags or tags with photo tags. Remember, we have those two tables. The one table is just the name of the tag, and the other table is every time the tag is used and applied to a photo. So we want to count. Basically, we want to group all of those photo tags together, count them, but then we want to find the associated name of the tag. So let's start that. We'll do six most popular hashtags, five most popular hashtags. So if we start with just selecting star from tags, as we've seen before, it's just a list of the hashtags themselves, and then, well, an ID, a hashtag, name, and then created at. But we've also got photo underscore tags. And we've got a bunch of those, 500. And each one is just a hashtag or a tag ID and then a photo ID that it's being applied to. Let's see if we can get to the top here. Here we go. So the photo ID, photo ID 14 is being tagged with whatever has tag ID one, which is sunset. So photo 14 has the tag sunset. So what we want to do is we can start, if we wanted, by just focusing on these and counting how many times each, ta each tag was used, but it makes it a little easier to follow if we join tags so we have a name of the tag as well. So we'll do that. We'll do select star from photo tags, and then we'll do join tags, get rid of the other stuff here, on photo tags dot tag ID, which is this, where this tag ID equals tags dot ID. So now what we see, there's a lot of stuff, 500 rows. If we go up to the top, we can see they're already being grouped roughly, not exactly, but they're being grouped roughly by the tag name. Um, so we've got, you know, 14 was tagged with sunset, 21 was tagged with sunset, 40, or 45 was tagged with sunset, and so on. So then what we want to do is basically collapse them using group by. And we could use the tag name to collapse them, but we could also use the tag ID, which is easier because it's just a simple integer rather than having to work with strings and text. So we'll do the tag.id. So that's group by tags.id. Now we do this. We're getting closer. Now we only have 21 because they've been grouped together. Then finally, rather than selecting star, let's select the tag, tags dot tag name, comma, do these on separate lines. We want the count star. Okay, so we can see things like sunset was used 19 times, photography 16 times, sunrise 17 times. Then, We'll go and give this an alias as well. We'll just call it as, uh, what's a good one? Total. Okay. Next up, we want to find the maximum. So you could use max, but would be better. And what I'm going to do is just use order by and then limit because we want the five most popular. So actually you couldn't use max because we want five. So we'll do order by, what are we ordering by? This count here, which we called total order by total. And if we do that, it will be in, in uh, ascending order. So we want to change that. And then we want to limit it to five and that should do the trick. And there we go. We see that the top five tags right now, number one by far is smile. <laughs> Apparently it's very popular. And we've got beach at 42, party 39, fun and LOL. <laughs> And I know for, you know, Smile and Beach, I, I kind of engineered to be there because when I was making the data, I wanted some hashtags that could be used in multiple contexts and things like, you know, Beach 
could be used in a landscape photography shot alongside sunrise or sunset or landscape but it could also be used like in a model photography shot alongside model or beautiful uh, it could be used in a party you know uh, alongside a party hashtag if it was a beach party smile can be used in a lot of ways so can party so anyways um, i tried to come up with certain tags that could be used in in different ways and there we go those are our top five hashtags at the moment next up you guessed it something else <laughs>